Hi everyone, my name is Daniel Perino. Uh, you could, if you don't know who I am, you could always Google my name uh, under Daniel Perino and see all the um, news articles and media that uh, they uh, have done for me a um, couple of years back. Anyway, so I, what I want to do is I want to get, this is going to be part one because it's too long. And then we'll come out with the part two, um, either tomorrow or the next day. Um, it's life as a celebrity, so let me just give you a little bit, maybe half of it, of what exactly happened during those years. Um, and then we'll do the part two, uh, probably tomorrow. Okay. My formal education, oh, I, I'm sorry, I have to read it, it's not, mem it's not a memorized script. My formal education was brief and somewhat disruptive, but I didn't stifle my passion and constant urge and need to know more and add expand and expand my intellectual horizons. I am a camera. Uh, in my wanderings throughout the city, my senses are sharply attuned to the lights and sounds and smells which surround me. My eyes and ear records the vivid images that are, that are ten times surprising and, yes, disturbing. Excuse me. I observe a couple seated at a restaurant table facing each other, but not once communicating. They are too self-absorbed and immersed in their own hand-held tablets completely indifferent to the passion to the person they're sharing dinner with. What has happened to the magical art of conversation? It's becoming as obsolete as the typewriter and high button shoes. Perhaps the couple had little or nothing to talk about and it takes a real effort to sustain an ongoing dialogue with him or her. Narcissism, a major obstacle to forming a relationship. It's not all about me, myself, and I. You have to demonstrate a true interest and curiosity about the one with your, whom you're spending time with. Place yourself in the subordinate position to the one sharing your company with. Focus on their interests, their likes, and dislikes and make that person primary in your attention to move on when you realize move on when you realize that your date concentrates exclusively on him or herself in an attempt to impress you with her activities or social successes. Uh, let me skip this page. It's, mu it's much easier to conduct the romance with your assorted tech toys than it is with a human, breathing, intelligent being. No demands are made on you, and it is low maintenance. The iPhone, smartphone, or other Apple temptations is the last thing you look at before retiring and the first thing you examine and caress when you awaken. These inanimate objects become so reality in interaction with people. It takes a back seat to your emotions uh, that are uninvolved and the cyberspace and the virtual universe are the ones mo you're most comfortable with. As I said before, I am certain most of you out there are saying, thinking, what's with this dude? Is he for real, or is it just a gimmick, a vain attempt to gain attention? Or is it a serious experiment in social dynamics? I had no idea on the outset this would become so widely broadcast, both locally and internationally. Pure and simply, I was looking for a girlfriend. Emphasis on the friends. Sadly, one of the negatives of posting the flyers is that it fre frequently, it frequently attracts the wrong types of crazies, weirdos, girls looking for a free meal. One day talking about affection, one time a girl came up to me and grabbed my crotch. 
that's kind of that kind of put me into shock. She said to me, "I just wanted to see if the Vice.com interview was true." She smiled and said, "Cocandam." <laughs> Another woman called me wanting a date. It was set up for the next day for brunch at Benny's Burritos. I waited outside because I've been stood up before. She and her chaperone showed up 30 minutes late. We went in. I didn't know which one was my date and which one was my chaperone. The chaperone did most of the talking, so I thought it was her, but it turned out to be the other girl that didn't do much talking. The date wasn't going anywhere. The chaperone asked if I had any money. I then thought that these girls were hookers. Then the chaperone called over the waitress and ordered three more meals in Spanish. I didn't know what was going on at this point. She had then said to me that her friends were hungry and I said, you think that my, I'm paying for these three meals and then I'm paying for, you expect me to pay for three more meals? For people that I, I don't even know or met, six meals? What do you think, I'm stupid? You pay for all six meals, I'm leaving, F you. They were sitting there, the chaperone said, but we don't have any money. I said, do the dishes, go F yourselves. When you ask a girl out, they're always expecting the same old date. Dinner, movie, drinks, it gets to be a boring after a while. The cost can be exorbitant. When I first started this looking for a girlfriend flyer, I'm guilty of doing the same old date. In fact, I was spending $300 per day, including a limo, with dinner, a movie, and, and drinks. Uh, let's do another page or two. What I observed and learned from the opposite sex my experiences that are more demonstrative and affection is more easily than men do. Maybe it's because males are more inhibited and embarrassed of showing affection in public. I understand this because I was a product of verbally, of motherly indifference and sometimes verbal and physical abuse. She had a separate life and it didn't include me. I felt the loneliness and isolation of, of a child and those feelings persisted in my childhood, in my adulthood, I'm sorry. I must admit how astonished I am at the reaction to my public announcement looking for a girlfriend. I choose the term girlfriend as an intuitive of a device to draw attention to my desire to connect with someone who could be a companion, a confidant, a soulmate, someone who will appreciate my innate qualities of compassion, sensitivity, generosity. What I don't want is a casual, strictly physical connection with a female, but I do hope to find someone with whom I could have a sustained and meaningful relationship. We'll cut it short there. I'm on page 16. Uh, tomorrow I will come out with the, the next half of it. It gets to be a little bit more interesting and um, I find that you'll, you'll enjoy it. Uh, thank you for watching and have a pleasant day. Peace.